there planner friends and welcome to a new video. I know it's been a while and that has not been for a lack of planning. I actually did a video on Monday but when I went to edit the video it was gone so I'm upset about that but at the same time I don't think it was really awesome because I did it right when I came home from work and I was a little tired and all of that fun stuff. You know how it goes. So I'm back. The only problem is um, components of that video were kind of an unboxing. So all of this new stuff I have since used. Uh, but that doesn't matter. We can still go through it. So for my birthday, uh, my brother took me as an early birthday present to wherever I wanted to go. And I told him I wanted to go to Muji. So that's what we did last week before my birthday since he's going to be out of town for my actual birthday. And uh, I got to pick out a bunch of stuff. I actually went in with a plan. I had like a list of what I was going to get. And the Muji that we wound up finding is the Santa Monica Muji. And it's actually a little uh, bit smaller I think than regular locations. But that was okay because, honestly, um, the prices were a little shocking uh, for some of the things that I anticipated, anticipated on getting, like uh, organization or something like that. It was much higher than I thought it would be, uh, but that's okay. So this is the stuff I did get. Now, if you've seen a few of my videos, you know that I am coming to an end on my bullet journal. And while I have a bunch of stuff like waiting in the wings, and currently I'm trying to debate whether or not I should go through a standard regular size or to that A6 voice term, in case I am in need of an A5 style uh, journal in order to plan in in the near future, I decided to get this spiral bound one from Muji. It has a neat, just simple elastic. I'd say it's similar to one that you would find inside your traveler's notebook. And this guy was, let's see if I can salt this receipt. Hmm. Oh, this one was $4. So that's not bad. And I really liked the fact that you have two cardstock pages, one in the front, one in the back, and it is dot grid, and it is the similar like width and everything as the voice term, and it looks like the pages are cut pretty evenly, so it's consistent all the way around. And for me, that's a big deal because there have been certain notebooks that I've purchased in the past. I would say the Chic Sparrow ones. Uh, and I find that they're cut in a way, they're cut like I would cut it, um, in that they don't align everything so it's not consistent all the way through, so you might have some dots like on an angle, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, so it's a big deal for us super, I don't know, picky people I suppose. Because, I mean, it's not a life or death thing, but it is sort of a deal breaker for me. And then when I did my first video about this, I did a pen test. I used my new um, Muji and Blue Black, which I also got. And I used a Tombow Play Dot marker in purple. And I also used just the pen that I've been using most recently, which is this uh, brown Coletto High Tech C ink, just to do a pen test because the paper is really smooth and initially I thought it was just like the same sort of thickness as a wish term, but I think it's a little bit thinner. As you can see there's some pretty heavy ghosting and I might even venture to say no, that's not um, bleed through. That's from something else. 
so yeah, there's pretty heavy ghosting, and also, you know how when you write down kind of hard sometimes on a piece of paper, it kind of, um, raises on the other side? I can feel the writing on this side, so I know it's a little bit thinner, but still, it's not bad, especially for four dollars. Now, uh, when I was there, I also got some pens. Initially, I wanted just to buy the refills because I already have one of the 0 0.38 black Muji pen, but maybe because of the size of the store or what have you, they didn't have them. So I decided that it was fine to just buy new pens, and these were just $1.50. I got it in black, which I already had, and then this blue-black, which is a really pretty color that you'll see right there again. So nice! So that was it for pens. I did buy this pair of scissors. Uh, it's similar to one I had before that I purchased from Jet Pens, and I think it was the same price, actually. This was $6. It was the most expensive thing, hands down, that I purchased at Muji. And I also got some sticky notes. I was really looking forward to their selection because I know it's very diverse. Like, they have a bunch of different types and colors. So I got these craft sticky notes, which are actually pretty sticky. Um, if we go, yeah, here, where I did some more pen testing, you can see, oh, come on, the, it's pretty much on there. It feels just like a regular post-it note, except it's in a very aesthetically pleasing craft paper. I also got these, which are just tiny little index stickies. Go for this golden color. And the adhesive actually runs like halfway through the thing. So it's pretty stable. Yeah, I'd say it's just like a post it note, sort of sticky. But I was super excited to try those. So these little guys were $2.50 for the whole set, and then the craft sticky notes were a dollar, and you get 50 sheets for that. Um, you get 100 sheets, I think, all together, or maybe it's actually 100 sheets per block. It might be 100 sheets per block, because it, it seems like they're really dense. And then... Another sort of impulse purchase was this sort of weekly stick, sticky note set. I don't really want to test one out. It was only a dollar, but you only get 13 sheets, which is kind of a bummer, I guess. But I figured, oh, and the adhesive only runs for maybe an inch and a half. Yeah. But I thought for weeks where I don't feel like creating a spread or something like that, these would be handy to have. Now, of course, that would be if I don't want to create a spread in like a bullet journal or something like that, because if I go with the Traveler's Notebook, it kind of already has a weekly spread set up. And then the other little thing I purchased was this ruler, which is $2.50. I just wanted a different one from the cloth and paper ruler I have that's a similar length, about 6 inches, because that one's made of brass and it kind of makes my hand break out. This one's just aluminum, so I figure I will not have those issues. I hope. The other things I purchased from Muji were... Whoop, I just made that move, didn't I? were some A5 just blank ruled um, notebooks. I think each one has 30 sheets in each um, notebook and there are five there. I used to use a similar setup 
um, but using campus notebooks, and those are a little bit more expensive. These were less expensive than the scissors. These were uh, $3. Oops, nope. Okay, they were just barely less expensive than the scissors. These were $6. The scissors were six fifty. dollars um, But I think I might go for this for the new school year. Or it would just be nice to have for dedicated like studying or dedicated topics. So these I think are good for dedicated units. So if you were going to a class and you know you were going to be taking a lot of notes and you wanted it to maybe reference later, that would be a good idea. And right now I'm trying to kind of reacquaint myself or even just teach myself how to read poetry because it is definitely a gray area for me. I mean, I'm an English major and I think critically about literature and all that, but for some reason poetry is just so difficult for me um, to read, to appreciate, to analyze, uh, to figure out the meter and the pacing and all of that fun stuff. It's just, I know I need some work. I've only had one poetry class and I thought it would be the kind of class that would teach me how to do that sort of thing, but it turned into more of a unstructured creative writing class where the professor really tried to drive home descriptive writing and gave us a bunch of really cool vocab words but and she definitely encouraged us to think uh, critically and create but not so much to appreciate and evaluate and consider sort of the form and the function of other types of poetry aside from our own. So that was kind of a letdown. And I've been struggling ever since. And I think I can mask it pretty well when it comes to school, but I know that's doing no one a service. So I really want to brush up on it. And I think that's what I might use here in the weeks before school starts again. Let's see. But the big reason I went, hello cat hair, you're on the inside was for this B5 folder. B5 is the, my current favorite paper size. It has 26 holes and I buy the campus um, refillable paper in graph but I also like their six millimeter paper too but I did not have any index um, they call them index cards but really they're just the uh, sort of tabs that you would buy for your binder. I didn't have any, so I purchased them. I would have liked, or I would have preferred to purchase a hole punch, a 26 hole hole punch, but I can't find it. And I think if I did find it, it would be cost prohibitive anyway, so I just bought the index cards, and they were $2 each, and I bought a set of two because I have another B6 folder, which is a campus folder. It's a slide, though. Um, see if I can grab that really quick. Yeah. So this is the other one I have. But instead of metal, it slides. So if you have a kid in school and you don't trust them with snappy metal, you should try out these kinds of binders. They're really neat. But I wanted something maybe sturdier. And that's why I went for the metal. So I got a set for this binder, a set for that binder, and because I couldn't find that hole punch, I also got some just clear pockets. I figured for any sort of free-floating uh, school documents or that sort of thing. And these were two dollars as well. So that was all I got from Muji. I know it doesn't sound that super exciting, but I was excited to go, and it was fun to hang out with my brother for the day. And I know I said I probably wouldn't be buying anything, but it's my birthday, and I kind of gave in. So, let's... Okay. 
And another thing I bought, this was for myself, was some pens, of course. So, I watch a lot of YouTube, like most of you guys. I mean, if you've stumbled upon my channel, then chances are you are most certainly a fan of YouTube. Because you have to get in pretty deep, I think, to find me. And one of the people I enjoy watching videos from is the woman that runs Tokyo Pen Shop. And she happened to feature a few new items to her store. And it was the Disney Princess Zebra Sarasa uh, collaboration. So this Disney Princess Zebra collaboration uh, just manifested itself into these scented Sarasa clip pens and also into a pre-fill version with this lovely barrel. I think it comes in three, four, and five, and I got the five barrel. It's so weird that this thing doesn't have a clip, but it doesn't. And I initially pen tested these guys out. And since this was the first time I was buying from Tokyo Pen Shop, I decided to also close out my collection of these Tombow Play Color Dot markers. I have every other color except for these four, so I added them to my cart. I also couldn't resist the Sarasa Markon pen. Uh, it's a new version of the Sarasa clip, the super popular gel pen. Except this one is readily available to have highlighter applied to it without like smudging or that sort of thing. Although at the time I placed this order, they only had the red body in stock with the red ink, but they did have the black ink refills, so I just swapped out the red ink for the black ink, and that's what I used here. Um, so with the Zebra Sarasa mark on, it works just like the original clip black gel pen and I tested it like right after I used it um, actually no this is a scent one so I tested this pen right after I used it I waited about five seconds and it still smudged but then I waited for about 10 minutes while I tested everything else and it works so that's fantastic I mean, I'm the type of person that if I highlight, I tend to do so when I'm doing like maybe a review before a test. So this will have dried for days or weeks before I think about using a highlighter. So I think this would work for me. I think, however, if you're the type of person who maybe reviews after each class period, this still might let you down a bit. Um, but, you know, it's still worth a shot. The pens look neat. They have this grid pattern on it. It's cute. So, like I said, I got these new Play Color Dot markers. And I'm super happy with that cherry red. I didn't think I would be. The blue is, you know, it's a blue. Um, and the brown is nice. And the orange is good, too. So, I'm excited about those guys. But the big deal are these Sarasa clips, and they are scented of all things. So I got the black with the Rapunzel pen body, I got blue with the Cinderella, and I've got orange with Belle. Now I did test them out, and since I did test them out, and that blue is lovely, it's like violet, I really like that blue. Um, can't really smell these all that much. They're not really pungent to me. This one's supposed to smell like orange and then this one is supposed to smell like a sea sort of, maybe like a sea breeze scent. But this bad boy, it smells like grape. Um, or I guess like a super popular Japanese grape. And it is pungent. I recently did a page in here while I was at work. Um, just chronicling kind of the companies I've worked for and their contact information so when I go to apply for jobs it'll be easier 
and if I flip open to that page, which I won't because it has some, you know, personal information on it, if I were to flip to that page, I would just waft. It would be all in the air, and it's a little overpowering, actually. I'm not someone who's super sensitive with scents uh, in general, and I'm not, like, grossed out if a lip gloss or something has a really prominent scent. But this is the type of thing that I think would get to me if I wrote, like, a full page. Um, I think it might give me a headache. So if you're sensitive to scents, I might say pass on these. Or get the pen bodies. Um, give the ink cartridges to someone else. And just use your regular zebra clips and load those inks because it's just the ink that is the scented part. It's not the actual pen body or anything like that. It's just the ink. But other than that, I'm still a little on the fence. I mean, it's just the zebra sarasa clip, but with the scent, which might be a liability <laughs> and um, fancy casing. So. We'll see how I feel about that um, as I test them out more, but I know that the black is probably going to get swapped out with a different color in my collection. Maybe even the Zebra Sarasa Markon, because the ink cartridges are the same size. So also, if you are sensitive to s smells, but you perhaps still want to be a part of that princess line, then definitely go for the pre-fills, because the pre-fills do not have any scent whatsoever in the ink. For the one that I purchased, I got Belle, because she's my favorite, obviously. Actually, I think modern princess, it would be Rapunzel. I really loved that movie, and it's silly because it came out way after I became an adult and everything, but it's still one of those movies that I can pop on and it'll make me feel better about my day <laughs> if I've been having a tough day. But um, I'll just say Belle is my OG princess. So I had to get it and it was a beautiful color pairing too with this yellow and this deep gold. It's so pretty. And I bought the refills that were available for it. And it's this pink which has Rapunzel and it features like Rapunzel iconography and the character itself on the barrel. And you'll be able to see it through the window. And then I bought Ariel which is this like same green as the color of my fingernails. And uh, same thing, it features the character and all their character iconography. And then the black is not Cinderella, but Cinderella's castle. And then it has like the fairy godmother, the mice, and the uh, horse. And this is in black, obviously. There's also a gold refill, but it was sold out. And the gold was bell, so it all matched and everything was cool. And I tested those pens out here. Oh wait. I tested out the prefill in the pink, the prefill in the green, the, and in the black. But I was kind of, I don't know, in the video it made it seem like these two colors were different. Like the, this green was actually true to the packaging and my nail color and was more of a, I guess, a darker, a darker, deeper green, and it made it seem like this pink was more like an orangey pink, but I don't find that to be the case. And because they weren't like my favorite colors, I took them out completely, and I replaced them with what I initially wanted to test the Sarasa Select with, and that is the Shine colors. And they're ever so slightly, actually no, not slightly, they are on metallic. I don't know, you probably can't tell, but the blue is metallic, the gold is metallic. So 
So is the green. What else do I have? Oh, and the pink. And then I think the last one I have is silver. And these are in 0 0.5, you don't really get a choice, but this whole pen is just filled with the shine colors, and I'm happier with that than I am with these princess colors. So I have the blue, the gold, the green, the pink, and the silver, and they all have a super sparkly shimmer to them, kind of similar to the Jelly Roll, the Space, or the Stardust ones. But mine died, so this is a good replacement, and it's so convenient to have them in just this one pen body. So that's really nice. And as far as five cartridge pen bodies go, I mean, it's relatively similar. I think it's just a skosh, just a little bit on the thinner side, as far as diameter. But it's so weird that it doesn't have a clip. <laughs> I don't know if I can get over that. But I think it does have a place in my uh, backpack. In fact, I've been carrying it all week, so yay. And that is what I got from Tokyo Pen Shop. I don't know if I would honestly purchase from them again. It's not that my experience was like bad or anything and they are super sweet and they give you like candy too with your order um it's just i think i prefer jet pens just because their website is like easier to navigate and all that fun stuff and they show the actual pen swatches so maybe i could have avoided the um purchasing the pink and the green if i had seen a pen swatch but that's just personal preference. So then the other purchase I made for sort of treat yourself birthday present was from the uh, Nico Neko website. And it I stumbled across that website because I was looking for this specific washi. It's another one, the only missing one I have in the um, Eric Small Things line. And it's just based off of illustrations um, by this woman, Ariko. Oh, I forgot the last name. I will post it down below. But she makes these illustrations and then carves them into stamps. And that's what you see in the washi. And this was the only set I didn't have and I felt I needed to because I'm a completionist, which is a horrible trait. But then you get this cute washi, so I guess it all shakes out. So this is the pattern. It's kind of a smaller repeating pattern and it's similar in feel to this first one I purchased. So I think maybe they were made around the same time. And these though might be like the updated version. Um, because they're repeating patterns. No, their repeating patterns are usually the same length. It's just that this is a thinner washi, which is why I'm thinking it's smaller. So it's actually out of sync with everything because it is just a few millimeters thinner than the rest. Still, that's pretty cool. And I don't regret getting that. Um, I also got this where I put this watch. This MT washi. Oh, here it is. It's just grid washi, but some of my favorite washies are MT washies, and I didn't have a pink, so I went for that. It's a little more on the magenta side than I thought it would be, but that's fine. And then I also got some samples of the MT William Morris washi. And these I paid for, but I don't think I would do that again because in these little barrels, it's really difficult to kind of extract it. 
I think it would work for thinner washi, like normal sized washi, but for these wider rolls, it's really not super convenient. But these were the two styles I got. I was kind of on the fence between which one I might potentially buy the full size version of in the future, and I think I'm leaning towards this one now that I see those two together. This looks more like resort sort of themed. And this looks more like doom and gloom, and I'm much more a fan of that. So that was my birthday haul, essentially. If we go to this week, let's see, I am already on Thursday. Today's Thursday. So today was the day that I could finally get back to plan, or not planning, finally get back to recording. Um, because I did do it Monday, but it was deleted. So, as you can see, this A6 size Leuchtturm sort of style spread is not working. This isn't even a busy week for me, and I've had to resort to outside of the lines, which is why last night I just sketched this really rough Jin Erso Saint Ira Bell, because that's how I felt. Having to go outside of the lines is usually outside of my comfort zone, but I had to because it's so rough. There's not enough space. And I did the decoration as minimal as I could to give myself a lot of room. And even so, it just seems like it gets in the way. So I'm not a fan of this. And I probably, I think this has soured me on moving to A6 planning. Because I think in order to make it work, I would have to make, maybe do like four pages a week. And then and that just seems like a lot of work. Alternatively, I really like this week's spread, and I think this is what I'm going to next week. I'm not sure if I will have enough room to finish out July, the last couple of days, in this bullet journal, but I wanted to give it like a, a nice send-off, so I took it out of the cover. And I figured I would just have it for a few days, just without the cover, in all of its glory. And I really actually miss this. It's much thinner, much lighter than it is with that giant cover, even though it protects it. And that's where I am. As far as projects go, I've been making a lot of headway in my professional development and pushing myself to apply to places and creating profiles in various um, professional job sites, so I'm making progress. As far as writing goes, I'm doing well there too. Uh, it hasn't been like 100% all month, but it's better than I anticipated, if I'm going to be honest, so I'm going to keep going with that. Tomorrow's my birthday, and... I think that's a good end and wrap up to the month of July. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this was a bit of a long one and that it's been a bit since I've released anything, but I hope you understand and I hope your One Book Julys are going just as successfully um, or better than mine. So yeah, thank you.